Today, Good Friday, is the day Christians commemorate the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the early hours of the morning, Catholic churches across the world reenacted the Lord's death. It's known as the Stations of the Cross. Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. The Stations of the Cross are a 14-step Catholic devotion that commemorates Jesus' last day on earth as a man. On Good Friday morning, parishioners of the St. Dominic's R.C. Church reenacted Jesus' last day. Crucify him! Take him yourselves and crucify him. He has done no wrong. In the first station, Jesus is condemned to death after being betrayed by Judas Iscariot. In the second station, he carries his cross. On his journey to Calvary, Jesus fell several times, but each time he would take up his cross and continue. Upon reaching Calvary, he was stripped and nailed to the cross. His suffering would come to an end soon after. Jesus' body was prepared for burial and laid in a tomb. Over in Maracas Valley, the St. Michael's R.C. Church opted to do a spiritual journey instead of a reenactment. Parishioners took turns in carrying the cross as a way of experiencing what Jesus had to endure, while others prayed and remembered the journey of Christ. Liturgical coordinator of the St. Michael's Parish, Diana Ryan, said the spiritual journey was done in the past. We just opted to try it different this year. This is the original way we used to do the stations of the cross in the past, and we opted to go this way so that more members of the community can be involved in this stations of the cross. Hopefully we may have our reenactment next year, but if people are enjoying the spiritual journey, we will do just that. Following the Stations of the Cross on a Good Friday morning has become a tradition for Catholics and non-Catholics in various communities. Good Friday commemorates the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and his death at Calvary. He was killed for claiming to be the Son of God and the King of Israel. On Sunday, Christians celebrate his resurrection. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News. On Thursday, the feet washing service, which is part of the Holy Thursday Mass tradition, took place. Archbishop Charles Jason Gordon used the time to remind people that we are no better than our neighbors. Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. At the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception on Thursday, Archbishop Charles Jason Gordon washed the feet of the faithful at the Cathedral. On Holy Thursday, Jesus Christ became the lamb to be sacrificed. Archbishop Gordon said that night was also the night that Jesus instituted the Eucharist. The Passover is a celebration of freedom. That God chose this people and gave them freedom. The lamb is essential to the Passover because the meat of the lamb gives them the courage and the strength that they need to make their journey and the blood gives them protection on the night of the Passover Jesus while at the table with the 12 disciples took off his outer garment and proceeded to wash their feet he said those who are willing to wash the feet of others will experience the forgiveness of their sins and those who are wanting to play bigger than than life and better than John Wayne and more important than, than Lone Ranger and whatever else are those who have not yet encountered the incredible loving mercy of their God. The Archbishop said pride leads to arrogance and arrogance is at the very heart of what is wrong in our nation. That pride, that hubris that, that we think is so important that we become so important, that is not freedom. That is not freedom. That is enslavement. It is enslavement to your ego. He said freedom is the ability to serve humbly. Freedom is, a, is, is when someone would do the most lowly of tasks and, and do it with incredible joy. Archbishop Gordon expressed that true freedom is a living a virtuous life when our whole life is dedicated to the service of God. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.